welcome to the Motocross Supercross Podcast. What is up? This is the Motocross Supercross Podcast, episode number 43, where we are going to break down the 250s in Seattle. I'm Adam, here with Claudio. What's up, Claudio? What's up, what's up, man? Crazy race, man. I gotta say, for Ooh. as on, like, I think there was, like, a handful of, like, doubles <laughs> the whole night, <laughs> but besides that, it was the slowest, sloppiest... Definitely no triples. ...thing ever, and I, it was my favorite race so far this year. Yeah, it was definitely exciting, man. It was good to see... Uh... Uh, a different view of this sport, you know, it's uh, who could stay up the longest, I guess. Not really who was the fastest or, you know, it was it was more about, as uh, Mr. Jeff Emig would say, stand up on the pegs. <laughs> Dude, it was like a little bit of everything because you had to be, I mean, you really had to be good to do good in this race. Like, I want to see a uh, just like they should just throw a random person in on the track to just do a lap just so everyone can like see like oh that's what like a random person looks like out there because <laughs> it might have looked like they were going slow but I feel like if anyone else is out there like it's over man yeah I don't think we needed to throw anyone out there that's the thing though like I think we can pretty much see <laughs> that it was freaking it was just a mess it was just hell out there man it was it was a crazy night it was a crazy race and on both classes 450 and 250 but today we're only going to touch up on the 250 uh and then we'll touch up on the 450 of the next podcast just because there's so much shit to talk about so much and i've done mud races like this before like where it's just super sloppy super super muddy uh obviously probably not like what we witnessed uh during the seattle race but i kind of have i kind of know what it's like i'm sure you do too yeah but just uh, that it was just crazy you have to remember it was also raining the entire night too yeah it like definitely it, it was a lot a lot of water there was mud mud and more mud man there was there was no it, it literally rained all day all night so, and those ruts were deep real yeah, deep were, and if you weren't yeah, in were, the rut it was just sloppy yeah it was wet or if you're not in the track it was just bad like if you just get out of the track for a little bit if you were in the mud <laughs> yeah, because they're like pushing all the dirt, all the extra mud. They would just push it on the side of the track, and yeah, then so... <laughs> you go off the track, you end up right in it, and you're done. And we saw that happen a couple times. Um, so let's jump right into this. Uh, one couple changes that they made was they cut the main short. So the well, f- we'll we'll get there. We'll get there when we talk about the main. Uh, okay. Well, first off, like we said on our on our on our past podcast. Uh, we only had one practice and one qualifying only. Yep. So that already made it hard. Uh, this was probably one of the worst races to be at for opening ceremonies due to the fact that they couldn't, you know, go out and <laughs> be in the stands and do wheelies and all this crap. They just kind of just open up the podium and they just, <laughs> just kind of came out right there. <laughs> just give, just wave from the wave from the podium. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they yeah, don't want to yeah, get yeah. dirty before they get out there. Yeah, that's that's another thing. Now that you say that, uh, it, it there was it was so bad, so bad that they forced the riders not to wear their rain jackets due to the fact that they weren't going to be able to to read the numbers. <laughs> and uh, since they were so muddy, you know, they were just going to go with the back of the jersey, even though they do have the transponders. But sometimes they get lost, especially with this weather or you know these conditions of racing. Um, they, they fall or, or something, so they were going to also do it manually, which is very old school, but, you know, it, that's how they used to do it, and they definitely did it last night. So that was another um, cool fact about last night. I don't know about cool fact, but... Um, <laughs> no, it's definitely thing. interesting because it was cold last night, too. It was a little chilly. It was a little on the chilly side, so they're yeah. like, hey, no jackets, you, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah, they were just... They were, yeah, they were just hoping to be able to read the back of the, the jersey. So they were... They were forced to wear no jackets, and they were forced to wear a jersey with a number in the back. That's not really too much to ask of these guys, because everyone pretty much already, they well, not pretty much, they all already have their numbers on the back of their jerseys, and uh, I don't think anyone would have worn a jacket out there, but maybe they might have. Uh, actually, Anderson, in practice, he was lining up, 
and he had his uh, jacket on. He was going to ride, and then he remembered he had to take it off. <laughs> yeah, he forgot about it. So for he a takes second. it off, and then he's behind everyone, and he pulls up and just gets roosted in the face. Dude, that was <laughs> such a bad idea. Like, what were you thinking doing that? He just, like, he like pulled up, and I, I could see, I think it was uh, Wilson also like waiting behind, but he was way farther back. And, uh, he was just kind of like looking at Anderson, kind of like, what the hell are you doing, bro? bro Don't do bro, it. Don't bro. do it. Oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he got blasted in the face right there to start practice. So uh, if you look at our Instagram, at MXSX Podcast, there is a couple practice videos on there from uh, on a couple Jason crashes. Anderson. It was uh, Dylan Merriam and uh, Adam Cicerullo and then uh, Jason Anderson, little video of him crash in there you can watch on yeah. our, our instagram or you can watch that video on his instagram so yeah that's right <laughs> um but let's jump right into this 250 race like i said there's a lot to go over so much happened and uh yeah it was very exciting so uh 250 heat one uh dude the entire racetrack supercross team was in this heat did you notice that <laughs> i did not but uh <laughs> that's 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 pretty unfortunate, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is a little unfortunate for them because we had uh, uh, Noah McConaughey was in this one, Michael Lieb, uh, Blake Wharton, Martin Costello. That's all four of them right there. Yep. Uh, so they were all in this race, and from the start I was like all right I don't can all of them make it in I don't know maybe <laughs> but uh so the whole shot happens Oldenburg gets the whole shot he looked pretty good uh we'll talk a little bit about his night uh towards well, the end and, and also you know before before everything you know it was going to be an interesting race when Brandon Leith was having the Best time. You <laughs> yeah, know? the fastest qualifying the time. The fastest qualifying time on the 250, followed by Jess Petty's and then Dylan Merriam. Those were your top three fastest qualifiers for this race. So that like that right there should tell you something. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because they were all in the 250B practice, and the 250B exactly. practice went out first, and they were just like, all right, hurry up, get a fast line in before any of these ruts develop, and it worked for them. So Definitely. it was funny watching them getting like, you know, first gate pick they're really getting like first gate pick second gate pick uh <laughs> good for them they're like ah, i don't even know how to start on the inside how do i do this <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh leith though he had his own problems so uh but that was in the second heat but uh, all right so he, he won yeah sorry uh um... so yeah he uh he won uh, Mitchell Ord Oldenburg uh, had a really good jump on everyone he had the whole shot and right behind him uh martin costello from that racetrack supercross team so out of all the riders i would not have picked him to be second but he was up there and i was like all right good for him good for him that's what's up um but there was a couple crashes in this first turn uh pettis who you just talked about having that second fastest time also being a member of my uh, fantasy team this weekend uh yeah it was not the best pick but uh, yeah, so he crashed at, like, the beginning of the turn, before the turn even, like, really started. Like, he was down. Um, <laughs> and I, I watched this thing in slow motion, like, five times because I was, like, trying to see the numbers and then trying to, like, figure out what happened. But uh, Costello, he, like, blasts mud right into Nicoletti's face, who who was in third at the time, right into just his face. Dirty, dirty, dirty move right there? <laughs> no, man, he was just going for it. He's just wide open like everyone else, but I, everyone was getting blasted in the face. Uh, but anyways, so he gets hit in the face, and he's still, like, wide open and literally crashes, like, 10 feet later, like, towards the end of that first turn. So yeah. before the first turn, there was already two people down. And Nicoletti, uh, yeah, we'll talk about him later, obviously. But, yeah, so it's good to note that he went down in that first turn. Yeah, so he was uh... running. Yeah, go for it. No, I was going to say, yeah, he did go down on the first turn. Um, another uh, point in this heat, uh, McElrath having uh, problems, too, uh, with this bike. Uh, Dakota Alex also having uh, bike problems. They reheat it due to all this mud and all this clutching and all this, you know, not going anywhere. Yeah, this uh, uh, weather really 
like I was trying to think I, like before the race I was thinking in my head like whose bike is like who's not gonna make it whose bike we've seen the Geico bikes I think a couple years ago uh, have their problems uh, so I wasn't sure you know who who, who was gonna uh, get the uh, old bike uh, overheating clutch bug and uh, yeah we'll get into that I can tell you who did though who AC man, AC yes. with problem with his clutch. His uh bike got pretty much stuck in the mud, and he just kind of gave up, and he left it there, and it was just standing. That's how much <laughs> mud it was on it, you know. Yeah, I want to make it's... a video called uh, "Ghost Bikes," where it's just all the bikes just standing straight up with no one on them. That's that's exactly how it was. It was just <laughs> it was just sitting there, and there was no like no movement or nothing. It was just in the middle of the track. And he was just chilling on the side, like, oh, I don't know what to do. So, yeah. So, okay. So, before we really even get into that, there was a couple other things. At the end of that first rhythm section, Blake Wharton fell uh, right there in like that second turn. Uh, but I'm pretty sure everybody fell. It was just like if the camera followed you long enough, you were going to fall. Yeah. You, they will <laughs> catch you for sure. Yeah. Um, but even though it was muddy, super muddy, we did see some good battles. We saw uh, before AC had his problems, him and uh, McElrath, they were battling a little bit. Uh, he actually passed McElrath like right before that third turn, all this like first lap stuff going on. Um, Oldenburg, then he like cased this double and he fell down. And then Costello fell down right next to him, like literally right next to him. Because you know, they show them both down. You're like, oh, crap, they must have hit or something. But it was like, no, they <laughs> nope. actually both just fell in the exact same spot, like right next to each other. Yep. But Oldenburg, he got up super, super fast. Uh, so it was like he only lost like a position or two. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Adam C. Cerullo, uh, Oldenburg, McElrath was in third. Uh, Oldenburg, he got a little hung up in the whoops, though, and then that's whenever McElrath passed him for second. Uh, at that point, uh, Dakota Alex, who also had some problems, uh, he was in third place. Sexton was in fourth place. Uh, Oldenburg was in fifth. So that's a really good heat race, if you think about it, for, like, Alex. Uh, Sexton, he's been really good all year. Yeah, uh, Sexton with a solid heat race, for sure. Yeah, really solid. Actually, a solid night. Um, but... Uh, Oldenburg, then he, he, he was like catching everyone. He passed Alex in the whoops, but then he, uh, went down again. (laughs) So Oldenburg, he did, he found the ground a lot. Uh, McElrath, McElrath and AC were, they were still battling and McElrath actually passed AC back, uh, like straight up. There was no, like no bumping or grinding or anything. It wasn't any, like, it was nothing spectacular, but, uh, well, you I know, mean, it just, wasn't, yeah, because they were going pretty slow. Yeah, right? it was like everything's a slow way. Yeah, so he did get by him. Uh, but then McElrath, he got stuck in that, like, he got stuck in the rut. <laughs> that inside <laughs> rut right there was, like, super deep. Yeah. Uh, and this is the first heat. It was already so deep. Uh, and he just got stuck in it. And then uh, Adam Cincerulo just goes right around him. And uh, that's when his clutch died. And he just kind of shrugs his shoulders. <laughs> he knew there was nothing right. he could do. That was it. He did say something on his uh, in his Instagram um, about it. He was just, you know, he was uh, not very happy, but, you know, he was just glad that everything worked out. And, yeah, I got um, it right here. He said, interesting evening in Seattle, to say the least. Rookie mistake, frying the clutch in the heat. That's on me. But my team absolutely killed it with a motor swap plus a few other changes in a very short amount of time before the LCQ. Uh, so, yeah, uh, obviously he swapped out his whole motor and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was just a brutal track, you know. It was just brutal for that. Yeah, so, I, wonder, I, wonder, I wonder why. Okay, so, you know, obviously they're only allowed to register one bike, correct? Yeah. Okay. Like a so, frame. I think they do the frame number or something. Okay. Yeah. The frame. Exactly. Th- yeah. It's got to be the frame because if they're swapping motors over here, yeah. then that that doesn't really, you know, that because I can go and register a bike and then just swap a motor and then just have a 450 motor and a 250, you know? <laughs> so I think they, but, I think they do like inspections and stuff and I'm sure they, yeah, of course, they can yeah, like of course. protest kinda each like, other. Yeah. Kind of like they do 
you know, when they do AMA races around here, right? Uh, you're not allowed. You know, you have to register a frame or a bike, and that's the one that you you can only you can only use that one. That's so, right. That's why whenever we had, uh, we were in the uh, Indianapolis and uh, Pleasant, you had those problems right before the start. I don't know if you guys remember, but yeah, he had his the problem clutch before. or something was messed up. Yeah, he they they didn't like turn on the valve or whatever. But if it would, you know, if if it wouldn't have come on, he would have been screwed. Like they wouldn't have, you know, they wouldn't be able to bring another bike in or whatever. So there you go. Yeah, I know. Like uh, my friend who does the drag racing, like they'll sw- they swap out ent- entire motors and stuff each each run. Each time he does a run, they put a new motor in. That's crazy. Yeah, so they'll take like you know twelve motors with them to a race. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyways, Adam Cincerulo, obviously, you know, he has his problems. His bike's standing straight up. No one's touching it. It's stuck in the mud. His clutch is done. You see him, like, spinning it and stuff. Nothing's happening. He shrugs his shoulders. He's just on the side of the track just watching at this point. Uh, Dakota Alex falls. This this was like a theme of the night. We already saw it with uh, Martin Costello and uh, 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 Oldenburg. But then we see it here with Adam Cincerulo's bike, and then Dakota Alex falls right in front of his bike. <laughs> so I was like, oh, you're down right here? Well, let me join you. Boom. Let me let me see what is this. Yeah, I can't let you be alone here, man. No one crashes alone. So the <laughs> Supercross family shows up. So he falls right in front of him. And then uh, Sexton, he's winning this race, right? Sexton is like, boom, you know, AC's had his problems. McElrath has his problems. Sexton is about to win this race. Last lap, he goes down. Uh, And then Nicoletti, who falls in the first turn after getting blasted in the face with mud, comes back, wins this race. The crowd goes crazy. It was insane. That race had my mind blown. Super. Yeah, that was also his first heat win, so good for him. Congratulations. Yeah, so Philip Nicoletti took the win. Chase Sexton uh, salvaged second place. Chase Marquier, uh, probably one of the better, probably the, one of the best finishes for him, third place. Um, yep. Shane McElrath, fourth. Mitch Oldenburg, fifth. Dakota Alex, sixth. Josh Mossman, seventh. N- Noah McConaughey, there's your racetrack supercross guy, eighth. And then... Talon LaFontaine. 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 I don't know. No, I think I had it right. LaFontaine. LaFontaine. La from California. He got that final uh, that final spot right there, ninth place. Yeah, the, uh, mm-hmm. So who didn't qualify? Uh, Michael Lieb, he got 12th. Chris Howell, he was another one of my fantasy picks, got 13th. That was a bad pick by me. Not good. Adam Cincerulo, even though he didn't even finish the race, he still got 14th because he lapped know, so many people. Insane. <laughs> uh, Martin Costello got 15th. Blake Wharton, 18th. Pettis, 17th. Uh, yeah, so a lot of problems for a lot of people. Um, 422. Who is that? Uh, Philip Clackow. He was penalized two positions. Uh it doesn't say why, but uh, he was penalized two positions, and it didn't really matter because he got 16th, so he still yeah. went qualified. Uh, but yeah, that first race, it was crazy. The crowd, Seattle is nuts, man. Like, I want to go to Seattle next year because he, he they're— probably, He probably went down and just kind of cut through the track, kind of like how, what we're going to talk about in the next uh, yeah. heat uh, with uh, Savachi. Yeah, yeah, it had to be something like that. Um, you know, these people fall down. They're just like, I'm just going to go. I'm not going to turn around, you know. My bike's already yeah, that- facing this way. It's on the track. I am just. I should just go. Yep. Um, there should be a rule around that, though, because that sucks. If they really want people to turn around and go backwards on the track, you know, and then turn around and go forward. Well, the rule is you're supposed to get on wherever you got off, and then you're not supposed to make any passes. That's no, the, rule, right the rule is, like, get on at, like, the quickest and safest point. Yeah. But, I mean, if your bike's already on and you just go straight and then they penalize you, what if there, you could, like, maybe, like, if you're off, once you get back on, you just stop for, like, three seconds, like a three count, <laughs> one, two, three, and then you go. <laughs> then it's like, all right, you're good. Like, you acknowledge <laughs> like, that you didn't like go you back put your, or something. You put you your know? hand in the air. You put your hand in the air and you go, like, <laughs> yeah. with your finger, like, one, two, A little signal. Three. Hey, hey, guys. Yeah, and then you like, like, you do, like, whenever you, like, ask for shots for everyone, you, like, round up everyone, <laughs> like. <yeah. laughs> 
or you count like one with your fingers. One, two, three. That's what I'm three. saying. You go, Thumbs you go up. one, two, three, and then you round up. You're like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Thumb, yeah, little, little like lasso, cowboy lasso, and then you're yeah. just like, boom, then you're going. Yeah, that's a good yeah. rule. We're, look at us here, making the sport uh, a better a better place right here. A better, a better sport. So yeah, that was great. Heat one. Uh, we're gonna jump right into heat two. Uh, obviously, still raining. It rained the whole day. Real sloppy. Yeah, it um, rained all night. Savachi though, he's turning kind of into that uh, whole shot king. You know, well, actually, it looked like he was uh, gonna get the whole shot because he had such a great jump. But then Mitchell Harrison. Uh, ended up like edging him out. He got the whole shot, and Plessinger, Plessinger was right behind him uh, with a little inside pass right there. Yep. And then Savachi made, uh, he uh, was faster than Harrison, made a pass to him for second. Uh, and then we see my other fantasy pick, Dylan Merriam, pushing his bike off. So yeah, I did not have a good fantasy week at all. Dylan Merriam or Summerlin? Uh, Merriam. Merriam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got seventeen. No. This, this something happened to Summerlin too. No, no, no. He said uh, he got six. Okay. Yeah. So Merriam, he was pushing his bike off. My fantasy pick, uh, not good, not good. Uh, and then Savachi. That's when Savachi went down in the whoops. And when he got up in the whoops, he was like already on the track, and we were just kind of talking about it, and he just kind of just went down the straightaway. He didn't do the signal. He should have. He didn't do the signal. He should have done the signal. Uh, did they end up docking him for that? Yeah, they did. They did. Uh, yep, two positions. So that must yep. be what happened in the first heat. So yeah, yeah, they did dock him two positions. Uh, uh, it's not the worst penalty, but no, they docked him two positions. He still was he was still able to qualify, but that put our boy Justin Sterling in second place for the heat for the heat heat win, or the heat. For the heat race, sorry. Yeah, so the, yeah, second place. Yeah, it was a great, 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 great race for Starling. It was just, yeah, it was, he was just feeling it. You know, you could just tell he was just feeling it. Yeah, it was a great night. He was pumped throughout the whole day, throughout the whole night. He was really looking forward to it. Even like you know, before the show when they do the the super the Supercross Live or whatever it's called, he was super pumped. Then whenever they interview him, so. It was gonna be a good night. You could just tell. He could. He could tell. So some people in the mud just like they just feel it. They just in, like well, they just do it. You know. And then some people Florida, like Christian though. Craig. Whew. Plus he's from Florida. Florida. You know. You you get those type of races, especially you know like places like Gatorback or like my old track. You know. You get wet, man, and it's just gonna keep. Just gonna get muddy. You know. I raced a Gatorback mo- muddy one time, and I fell. I sh- I fell on the start. And uh, our friend JJ, I don't know, you you remember JJ? Oh, he yeah. fell down right before the uh, the drop, <laughs> 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 and I remember I remember doing the Costello move on him. <laughs> you blast him in the face? Yeah, I blast him in the face. Like I passed him, <laughs> and I said, you know, a couple things, and I just went, Brr! <laughs> and I blasted him right before we do the drop. So Dude, it was pretty. I've pretty been fun. there for Minios one year, and it was a complete, complete mud fest. Like the golf yeah. carts couldn't even make it up, like one of the like hills in the pits, and it wasn't even like a hill. It was like barely like slanted up, but like yeah. it was just so nasty. Like they couldn't even make it up, and yeah, uh, we I, would I just stand that, yeah. out in front of like the little main road and just watch people just wipe out right in front of us. I was just <laughs> gathered around drinking, just watching people crash, just riding down the road. <laughs> well, you weren't <laughs> drinking then, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I wasn't drinking then, but uh, I mean, people were. I'm just saying, people, you know, Be- people around you. Yeah. So uh, we're getting um, back. We're getting out of track here. Let's. Uh, we are. Back so to- Plessinger won. He did a a, a sick no footer. Um, <laughs> he didn't get any air at all, but he just kind of jumped up and did a no footer. <laughs> he attempted. He attempted the no footer on the landing of the uh, of the finish line. He's another one of those guys who was just feeling it, you know? He was just feeling well, it. Yeah, he loves he's, it. He's usually pretty good in, in tracks that get pretty erotic. So Yeah, so Aaron Plessinger's got first. Justin Starling got second. Oh, real quick, one thing I wanted to say about that when you were saying how every, all these Florida people uh, riding the mud and stuff. I remember at your track, every time it rained, like people would show up with their bikes and they wouldn't even unload it because they're like, you know, down here in Florida, they're spoiled where, you know, we ride every day. Uh, I'll just sit this one out, you know. Yeah. In Ohio, you drive three hours to the track. You're like, shit, I'm gonna ride, you know. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> 
So uh, Mitchell Harrison got third. Savachi, after being penalized, got fourth. Justin Hill, a uh, hometown boy, kind of. Uh, not really. I mean, Oregon, Washington, same area, but still a little trek. Still his hometown home race, race, though. Fifth yeah. place. Uh, who you were talking about, Dylan Summerlin, another kind yep. of hometown. He's from Oregon as well. He got sixth. Chase Blackburn uh, from Washington got seventh. Hayden Melrose, uh, Mel Ross, my bad, got eighth. Yep. Uh, and Brandon Leith, your fastest qualifier, made it into the main ninth place. So yep. that's good for him. Uh, good for yeah, him. Yeah, he was my pick. I picked him for my fantasy, and he gave me he did me well. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I should have picked him. I should have picked him. I was looking at him, and I was like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, Hayden Melrose, also a uh, considered a Florida boy now. He's uh, he's actually pretty close to to here to Orlando. Yeah, Claremont, and he's from he's like from Australia though. Yeah, he's or- Australian originally, but uh, yeah, Brandon Leith, he's got zero sponsors listed. Zero. So that kind of threw me off. I was like, uh. Well, he had the fastest lap. You can say that now. Yeah, fastest lap in the first practice. Uh, But yeah, so that's how it was. Uh, No Dylan Merriam. Uh, That's like probably one of the other biggest names in there. Uh, But yeah, that was Heat 2. didn't make it either. Um, And those those are about it uh, for that Heat. yeah, it you know, was Aaron Plessinger start to finish. Boom. Yeah, Aaron Plessinger from start to finish. He won that, and then um, LCQ. Yeah. All right, let's jump into this LCQ then. Uh, right before the gate drops, we see. I don't want to mess his name up. Uh, his name is Deegan von Losberg. Deegan von Losberg. Stegen von Losberg from Palmdale, California, like literally two seconds before the gate drops, he's kicking his bike. And he must have started that bike like like freaking a millisecond before that gate dropped. It was like a, it was like a woods race, <laughs> like where he started up and go. He started it up and he went, and it seems like every <laughs> time someone has problems like that, they always get the whole shot. So, he did too. Yeah. Uh, well, he got he was second place start behind Adam Cincerulo. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Chisholm was in third. Pettis was in fourth. Uh, Adam Cincerulo obviously dominated this race. He was dominating the As heat he before should. he had his problems, so he got all those fixed. And he was probably a little uh, conservative on that clutch this time. Yeah. So, I'm sure. Yeah. So uh, he just dominated this race, uh, start to finish. Um, yeah. It's Powell, weird to see him on the LCQ, but you know, good for him taking the win and you know demonstrating that he's a factory rider and he got you know 18 seconds uh, in front of second place. So yeah, exactly. And uh, second place was Pettis, just Pettis. Uh, yeah. So it was good that he made it in. Um, one person, my other fantasy pick, Howell. Uh, on the start, he was holding it wide open, and he, like, started getting sketchy. And, like, he made it halfway through, like, the first turn before he goes down. And then he gets hit by Blake Wharton. And Blake Wharton, like, gets shot, like, straight right and then kind of, like, goes off the track. And I I think he hit, like, at least one person, maybe two people, and then he goes down. So that kind of ended it for uh, Blake Wharton. So he wasn't able to come back. He he got fifth place. He just couldn't come back that last position. So that really sucks for him. Uh, yeah, he got a. There was a lot of riders that went down in this LCQ. Yeah, it was even. It was hard to like keeping track of them. <laughs> it Definitely. was really hard. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Dylan Merriam, we saw him. He was in fifth, uh, and he then he goes down behind Chisholm. Uh, so. My other fantasy pick didn't make it in. Not good. And some other riders who didn't make it in. Martin Costello. Yep. Didn't make it in. Michael, Michael Lee. Lieb. Didn't make it in. Blake Wharton. Didn't make it in. Bryce Stewart. Didn't make it in. He's also a veteran. Yep. Uh, Howell. Vaughn Losberg. Uh, yep. They just didn't make it in. Uh, so there is a lot of local names on here, I see. But... 
Yeah, it was the Adam Cincerulo show. Uh, everyone kind of expected that. Kyle Chisholm uh, had, was scary moments for him. You know, he's coming pretty close to not making it in, but he made it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, uh, like we said, Adam Cicerulo took the win. Jess Pettis was a second place. Chisholm with third place. And then Keel Russell with the fourth place. Um, and then Blake Wharton right outside that bubble, man. Yep. That's too bad. That is just way too bad. He was, uh, he wasn't even really close. He was 10 seconds behind, uh, Russell. So, yeah. Uh, just a bad weekend for him. Uh, I'll check the Instagram to see if he's uh, commented on it because uh, he, I'm sure he's just not too happy. Yeah, no, he didn't say anything. Uh, we'll give him another day or two to come to terms. But, yeah, it was a good race. It was still cool, and it really built up for this uh, 250 main. We knew it was going to be nasty. We knew it was going to be sloppy. And uh, it went. they cut the uh, time down uh, from... 15 minutes plus a lap to 12 minutes plus a lap. Uh, to eight minutes. The 250 was eight minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Eight minutes yeah. plus a lap? Yeah, they cut it eight minutes plus a lap, and um, yeah, it it, it kind of sucked. So. Okay. So do they originally go 12 minutes plus a lap? And They, they go 15. It? 15 in a lap. Okay, because I thought I saw something that said 12 minutes plus a lap. The 450s got cut to 12. Oh, I thought they were cut to 17. No, no, no. They got caught to 12 plus a lap. Damn. Yeah, yeah. so I thought it did go by really short because I was like, oh, it's over already? Yeah, Aaron Plessinger only did eight laps. So, What do you think of that? Do you think it's a good idea to cut down those laps? Um, I don't know if good idea would be... Because, I mean, it, I it's already a time. It's like by time. It's like, hey, we have this amount of time. We just do this amount of time plus one lap. Uh, so it's like, it's still the same amount of time, pretty much. Maybe like an extra of maybe 30 seconds for them uh, to it do that been, last lap. It would have been, you know, double the time. They, I think they did it more because of the bikes and stuff. Not really for the safety because there was really nothing like dangerous about it. It was more. Oh, dude, this was the safest race you could ever, ever have. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I think they just did it because of the bikes, you know, being able to not last the whole race. Well, that's lame. And, Are you yeah, telling I, me no one's bike would last? It'd be I all this the factory guys who just get every little inch out. It'd be all the factory guys out, and then the. I mean, uh, look at Cincerulo. He was in the heat race, you know, and the heat race is only like what five minutes, six minutes plus a lap. So yeah, five minutes plus a lap. Yeah, so that's or what I'm six saying. minutes. He, yeah, six minutes plus a lap in the heat. So, so he didn't even make it then, you know? So I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's more it than got, riding at that point. It's like, yo. And, and you know it got worse when it when we got to main event time. So Oh yeah. Those ruts, that track was insane. That that would have been a good one to walk after and just be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> just look at it and say, damn. All right. Let's jump into this uh two hundred fifty main. Uh yeah. th- like I said, there's a lot there was been a lot to talk about uh because this race was shorter there's not too too much but uh plessinger got the whole shot sexton was right behind him uh adam cincerulo oldenburg was right there but then oldenburg goes down at the end of that first rhythm and kind of loses man. a bunch he went of down position. early that sucks yeah justin hill uh got stuck in that same quarter too and dakota alex also had some problems there the uh, also went down and uh he got stuck under the under a bike yeah he got stuck under the bike he hit the tough block uh gets stuck under the bike sucks for him got dropped Uh, all the way back to 19th yeah all the way yeah yeah so yeah it was not a great moment for him uh he was able to get back up though and get going again but yeah that sucks and whenever you fall like that you just get caked in mud your bike gets caked in mud it gets heavy you spend so much energy trying to get it up your hand grips are all yeah, Freaking another cool fact. Nasty. Uh, I know that's that sucks, man. Uh, whenever you know you go down in the mud and then your grips get muddy and then you can't you can't you know grab at all. That that really sucks. Yeah. One of the things one of the things that was really interesting and I didn't see anyone do it. The not Daniel, but the other guy from the from the Supercross Live uh, show or whatever the pre-show. Jim Holly. Yeah, Jim Hawley, he was saying that back in the day, they used to put sticks on the throttle or on the grips, you know? So that way they'll have something to, like, grab on. 
sticks. If, you know, if they were to go down, and that, yeah, like they will like wire sticks to it, so that <laughs> way you have something to grip on, like you know, to grab on. Yeah. So that's a good idea. Like I never thought about it until he said something about it last night, and I was like, you know, and I'm surprised I didn't see anyone doing it. You know, mm-hmm. actually doing that. You know, putting something across the grip so you, for you to have more grip on on it. You know. Oh, I'm sure they had their own little, I'm sure they had their own thing, kind of uh, have, some special seen, grips I, or something. Yeah, I haven't seen anything on it, though. Like, you know, like, uh, oh, we're going to use the special grips or we're going to use this or we're going to use that. I didn't see anything about it. But uh, I just wanted to touch that on that. Another cool fact on this main event, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but they removed the whoop section completely. Really? Yeah, they removed the whole whoop section. I, I don't Nobody, I guess you didn't notice that either. Yeah, yeah no, I guess the, not. <laughs> yeah, they removed the whole, the whoop section. Uh, so they just made like a straight. Like you can see how like like the pumps on the outside of the track, but in the middle, it was nothing. There was nothing there. They removed it for the main. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's too bad. That was a good section. I like that. But yeah, it was just nasty. It was really nasty. Uh, yeah. Speaking of nasty, uh, Nicoletti, he got stuck off the off the side of the track where they're pushing all that dirt, all that extra yeah, mud, but, probably part yeah, of the that whoop we were section. talking about. Yeah. So he got stuck there. Uh, it was actually the same place. Someone in the 450s went down. Nagy went down Nagy. that same place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Nagy got stuck. <laughs> yeah, Nicoletti was able to you know throttle and push his way out of it. Yeah. Uh, Oldenburg, we saw him pass Chisholm for sixth. Uh, we saw Plessinger lap Savachi, who started working his way back up. I think he was in like maybe twelfth or something. Whenever that happened. Yep. Uh, McElrath went off the track, and then Sexton moved to second. Sexton said he didn't even know. He's like didn't even know he was in second. So yeah, no, he said uh, I McElrath. didn't even know I was in second place until like two laps ago. <laughs> yeah, McElrath just like blended in with the mud. <laughs> <laughs> He's camo out there. No one can see him. So, yeah, so yeah. That, that, that's a good surprise to get for uh, Sexton whenever you finish that race. Yeah, like, imagine, oh, what he fell whenever he went, imagine what he felt whenever he, he went by his mechanic. His mechanic said, you're in second place. Go. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that that's pretty much it for this race. Plessinger won. You know, he really pumped up the crowd. and Yeah, he uh, did no footers throughout the last lap. Yeah. Uh, th- on all the jumps, he just kind of rolled everything with no f- no no footers. Yep, he just had his feet. Um, out. He's just having a blast. Yeah, did you see the belly flop at the, the end? The belly too? flop. That's what I'm saying. He's pumping up the crowd. Come on, guys, get loud and you, you boom, to, belly yeah, flop. You want me to, yeah, you want me to get it here? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. So Aaron uh, Aaron Plessinger with the win. Uh, Chase Sexton second place. His best career finish so far. Uh, like we said, he didn't even know it. Um, Adam Cincerulo ended up getting third. Uh, you know, he ended up getting the podium even though he was in the LCQ. Um, Shane McElrath, fourth place. Justin Tarl- Starling, someone we talked about earlier, is fifth place. Boom. Also, his best placed uh, position on a you know on a main event. Oldenburg, sixth place. Mitchell Harrison, seventh place. Kyle Chisholm, eighth place. Justin Hill, ninth place. Uh, Hayden Melross, and ten. Filthy Phil, Nicoletti, and 11th. Uh, Joey Savace, we just talked about, 12th. Dylan Summerlin, 13th. Brandon Leith, your uh, fastest time qualifier, 14th. Would have been such Chase- a good fantasy pick. I'm kicking myself in the nuts for not picking I, him. I, I picked him and Chase Marquier. Oh. Yeah, they were both plus 14s, so they got me a lot of points. Uh, Marquier, I got 15th. Dakota Alex. He ended up 16th, um, running through a little bit of problems. Des Pettis, 17th. Chance Blackburn, 18th. Uh, Kel Russell, 19th. Talon Lafontaine in 20th. Uh, Josh Mothman in 21st. And then Nob McConaughey, the IB Corpse guy, in 22nd. Yeah, it was a, like I said, it was an awesome race. It was really exciting. Uh, Plessinger still killing in the points now, 17 points up on Cincerulo, who moved into second. Uh, Savachi sitting there in third with 153. McElrath in fourth. Uh, Sexton in fifth. Justin Hill sixth. Kyle Chisholm seventh. Christian Craig still in that eighth position. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. With two races, you know, with two races less than the other guys. That's right. That's right. All right, well, let's wrap this thing up. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. 
very exciting race in Seattle. Don't forget to give us a follow at MXSX Podcast, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for everything you guys do for us.